So guys, for the first step, you wanna head over to search and type in services, click on it. Now once you're on this, you wanna click on any service and then click on W on your keyboard. You wanna scroll down till you find Wi-Fi direct services. You wanna double click on it and then make sure the starter tab is an automatic delayed start. And then click on start, which will then make the service running. And then click on okay. If you got to this stage and it was already on these options, then you wanna click on restart the service. Now you wanna click on any service again and then click on end on your keyboard. And then you want to find network connections. You want to double click on it and you want to change the startup tab to automatic and then click on start. And then click on OK. Now for the next step, you want to head over to search and type in view network connections. Click on it. Now once you're on this, you want to double click on your Wi-Fi adapter and then click on properties and then click on internet protocol version 4. You want to make sure that use the phone and your server address has been selected and you want to make the first line 8888 and you want to make the second line 8844 and then click on OK. So guys, for the next step, you want to head over to search and type in CMD. Then you want to run it as administrator and then click on yes. Now once you run this, you want to type in NETSH space Winsock space reset and click on enter. Now we're going to type in ipconfig space forward slash release and click on enter. Now we're going to type in ipconfig space forward slash renew and click on enter again. And for the final command, we're going to type in ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS and click on enter. Now you want to restart your computer and then the problem should be fixed.